Okay, so you're gonna start sitting with your hands on the floor behind you. And to start, I just want you to drop your knees a little bit from one side to the other, nothing too fancy. Uh, take your feet at least as wide as the mat, but probably wider. Yeah, exactly. All right, so you've got your feet wide. We're just dropping the knees a little bit side to side. You're probably gonna rock off one hand and then rock off the other hand. And as you do this a few times, sorry, got a couple of false starts here. There we go. As you're rocking a little side to side, trying to just kind of rock from one hip to the other, we're gonna start to tip over further and take your arm onto the floor across your body and then come back to the center. Just go one direction for a second. So just go to one side, tip over, come back to the center. Go to one side, reach your arm as far away from you as you can, come back to the center. To one side and center. Keep going to the same side because we have a little bit of a little series of things to do here on this side. Try to reach your arm up into the air away from you or around you and see if that gives you more of a stretch. Play around with where you feel tight today and kind of make it a swing of the arm. It can be on the floor, it can be in the air. Reaching around yourself. And then you're going to start to straighten the back leg as you do this. So it bends as you come to the center it straightens away from that arm. Straighten away from the arm. And then you're gonna try to reach across to the floor and kind of let your upper body collapse over the thigh that's bent and then come back to the center. I'm obviously layering onto this. So if any of this doesn't feel good to your body, just keep doing the previous bit. Up and over and the leg center up and over, bend the leg, center. Then you're gonna go up and over. Keep the leg long as you return to the center. So your leg's out there somewhere still. And then you go up and over in a little pulse, two, three, and then bend and go up and over like we started. Leg stays straight, little pulse up and over. Just try to open up the ribs a little bit, reach, whatever you can make of this. Doesn't need to be perfect. I'm not judging you. And <laughs> reach up and over and try to find that little side bend somewhere. This moment where your leg is straight and you're going over the leg. Yeah, one more time. Up and over. And then whichever leg is straight, you're gonna go towards that leg with the other leg and reach the arms out. We're still only going to one side. And you're gonna rotate and do a pulse, two, three, come back to both legs straight in front of you. And pulse, two, three, and come back to both legs in front of you. Yeah, nice. And come back to both legs in front of you one more time. Pulse, two, three, and come back to both legs in front of you. Do one more pulse and you're gonna stay in this rotation Take your hands, the back hand down to the floor, push yourself up onto your knee and open your chest if you can, and then set yourself back down. Yeah, awesome. Let's go the other way. So tipping to the other direction, little tip. You can start to reach your arm further away from you. The idea is to keep it moving so there's nothing that's a static hold reaching through the arm, play around with low, medium, high, play around with more rotation around yourself. Start to straighten that back leg out away from you. And yeah, exactly. Stretch that leg long and start to square your chest off over the bent leg. 
So you'll feel more stretch in the, more opening in the back of the hip. And a couple more, rotate. And I know some of these places will feel really good, but try not to indulge and stay in them because I'm trying to get your whole body warmed up. So you're gonna keep it moving. And one more time, you tip over, keep that back leg straight, come back to the center and side bend over the leg, do whatever you want with the other arm. And then up and over and up and over the straight leg and up and over the bent leg and a little pulse over the straight leg. Good, two more up and over and over the straight leg, using the pulse just to help you get a little more mobility. Last one, both legs are gonna go towards the straight leg. Once both legs are towards the straight leg, it's still, we're going the same direction. Little pulse, two, three, reach both legs back along and pulse, two, three, both legs reach long and pulse. Yeah, nice. And last one, when you're finished, stay in this direction, drop your back hand down, push yourself up on your knee and press your hips open. And then you can set your hips back down and swing your legs out in front of you. Reach your arms forward and just start with your half rollback, rounding part way back and then scooping up and over. If you have tighter hips, take your legs wider. If your hips don't tend to be tight, you can keep them close together. Yeah, the arms are kind of on the horizontal the whole time and you're going back and forth, spinning the pelvis underneath you and coming forward and up a couple times. Each time you can go a little bit deeper into that rounding of your lower spine. Nice. And one more time. If you wanna go all the way down, go all the way down, reach the arms overhead. Let's circle the arms around to the side and roll up and over the legs. Of course, you can keep with your half roll back if that's better for you today. If you wanna straighten the legs out, you can. And with the straight legs, you could do a little pulse over the legs. You can bend them and straighten them to roll up. Little pulse over the straight legs. Bend them as you roll down. Stretch them out to straight as you come up. One more time of whatever you're doing. We're all gonna finish on our backs. And roll all the way back down and bring your legs a little closer to you. Feet sits bones distance apart. Lift your hips up into a shoulder bridge. So press your hips up towards the ceiling and then flex at the hip joint and lower back down. Helium balloons attached to the front of the hip. So you're lifting your hips up shortening the distance between the ribs and the hips and lowering your hips back down. And then either keep doing this or you're gonna lift one leg up to tabletop, lower your hips down a little, press back up. Lower down a little, press back up. Keeping neutral through the spine and then setting the foot back down, lift the other leg up, lower crease at the hip, not in the lower back. So your lower back isn't folding for you to lower your pelvis. It's the hip joint that's changing. And set the foot down, one more each side, or just keep going down and up. Four, three, two, good. And one, set the foot down, lift the other foot up, and down four, three, two, and last one, and then lower your hips all the way back down, set your feet down, reach your arms back overhead, stretch your legs and your arms away from each other like a yawn, a big stretchy yawn feeling, and then circle your arms around and do what you need to do to roll up to sitting, 
if it's bending, whatever you need. Round to the back of your sit bones. Lift one leg up to tabletop. It's not really a tabletop. It's a little less than tabletop. See if you can lift the other leg up, then set one leg down and then the other. You shouldn't have to tip back and forth to do this. One leg up, the other leg up, one foot down, the other foot down. Yeah. If you want to do this with the arms reaching forward, then keep them reaching forward. Stretch your arms long, lower and lower. If you'd like to add to this, try stretching one leg out long and then pulling it back in and stretching one leg out long. Keep with the same leg for a few and stretch your leg long or towards straight, staying to the back of the sits bones. One more time, stretch the leg out long. If you need to hold behind the knees, you can, but you're gonna roll back and then come back up. And as you roll back that same leg that straightened before, try to straighten that same leg little kick and come back up. If you want it to be harder, release the hands and little kick of the same leg. We're still on one side. Try not to put your feet down in between each one. So you're using your abdominals to balance. If you're struggling with the roll, then just stay up and do a little bit of a balance work. Yeah, exactly. On your next one, you're gonna pause at the top, hold, bend both knees, hold on to the back of the knees if you need to. Round back just so much that you don't fall over and then scoop your abs and come back up. So round and open across the front of the pelvis. Try to get your shins up a little more towards um, horizontal, a little bit more, yeah. Round back away from your legs and come back up, good. And then you're gonna roll all the way down and go into single leg stretch. One leg reaches out and you switch and you switch. Good. Press through the legs. And whichever leg was the straight mean leg, keep that leg straight, grab behind one leg. The other arm is free. See if you can roll up like that. If you can't grab behind the knee. Then we're back up in our balance place again. Hold your balance, hands can be behind the knees or reaching forward. The other leg reaches out a little bit and pulls in. Leg reaches out, obviously don't add that if it's not working for you. Just find your balance is good as well. Little reach of the leg and scoop the abs to hold it in. Uh-huh, one more time, little reach of the leg. That leg is gonna straighten as you roll back and up if it's too much it's meant to pull you asymmetrically off center so you're trying to not let it as you do that if it's pulling you too crooked or you're still working on just the basic roll then keep it bent little roll back scoop the abs come up little roll back scoop the abs to come up Stay at the top on your next one. Either hands behind the knees or reaching forward, round back a little bit and scoop back up. Round back, you also can just hold and round back, yeah. If it's not um, working, put your feet down. You can do this with the feet down anytime. Yeah, exactly. And then we go all the way down to single leg stretch. One leg reaches out and switch and switch and switch. You can have your head down if you need to. Four, three, two, one. Try to keep that leg that was straightened straight as you roll back up and then set your feet down. Good. Bring your legs into a cross-legged position. Reach your arms out to the side and just rotate your upper body to one side, three pulses. Come back to the center. Rotate to the other side, three pulses and center. Trying to feel like you're twisting your ribs but your pelvis is staying still. Trying to sit up as vertical as you can. If you'd like, you can reach the legs forward. If that's flexibility that you have. No need if not. And one more each way. 
I know this is a very basic exercise, but it should, should still feel like stuff is happening in the rib cage. Then take your arms uh, to your knees or to your legs either way and fold up and over your legs. Take a big inhale and then exhale, sit back up tall. And one more time around up and over your legs. Take a breath and then stack back up tall. Come over onto your hands and knees, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Find your neutral position through your spine and just shift your weight forward and back a little bit. Forward and back. And then you're gonna reach one leg out behind you, tuck your toes under on the mat. And just as you rock forward and back, you'll feel your calf opening, trying to kind of fan open your foot. Fanning. Yeah. And then float the, or actually keep the foot down for a second. Top of the foot on the floor, just slide your foot back and forth on the floor. Slide your foot, top of the foot. Hips are level. Lift your head so it's in line with the rest of your body. Your back leg is straight. Yeah, float the leg off the floor, same idea. Forward and back. Some of you are going really far forward. There's nothing wrong with that, but make it even with how far back you're going. So get your hip to work more, your standing hip. Mm -hmm. Do that a couple more. Forward and back, rocking and rock. And then pause the, the rocking, reach your leg out behind you, rotate your pelvis a little to the side, square your pelvis back to the floor. Rotate the pelvis towards the side and square it back to the floor. Initiate with the bottom leg pushing the hip and the pelvis into rotation. If you can, keep your foot the same height off the ground the whole time. As this starts to get bigger, you can allow the upper body to respond to that. But each time, try to come back down until your pelvis is level with the floor. Good. If you're going further, you might feel that hand on the front side wanting to lift, that's fine. As long as you're in control. Try to keep that leg on its own side so it's not swinging across the midline in order to rotate the pelvis. Yeah, keep it on its own side. Lots of you, as your pelvis is rotating, your leg is going way behind your body, across the midline of your body. Keep it on its own side. So if it's your left leg, keep your left leg on the left side of your body doesn't get to cross over. Start to add more rotation through the upper body if that's possible for you. Try not to make it so fast that you're not challenging yourself. So you're trying to feel like you're controlling it. Mm -hmm. Nice carry. And rotating and coming back. One more time. Trying to keep the leg nice and high as you rotate and come back, bring that leg down. And then just do a little pendulum swing of your hips. So your hips go around one way and then the other and around one way and the other. They're kind of making the mouth of a smiley face and around and around. Yeah. Reach the other leg out behind you. Tuck your toes uh, under and just rock a little forward and back, letting your foot kind of fan open, pushing back into the calf, ankle. Try not to bend your knee as you rock backwards. Changes it. Yeah. And then top of the foot is on the floor. You're just sliding it back and forward. Very light pressure into the floor with the foot. And when you're ready, you'll float that leg off the floor. Try to keep it the same height as you rock forward and back. Should feel like that standing hip is working a lot. Straighten your leg more than you think you can. Yeah, nice. Forward and back, forward and back.
and then pause in the center of all of that. Rotate the pelvis, square the pelvis back off to the floor. So the pelvis is here pushing down through that bottom leg, rotating the hip towards one side. Foot stays the same height off the ground. It's not coming from the leg. So it's less about you turning your leg out, your femur. It's not lateral rotation of your femur or turning your knee to the side. It's that you're turning your whole pelvis to the side. Yeah, that's better. Try to get your hip, almost like one hip is trying to stack on top of the other. And you'll feel how if you go literally until your hips are stacked, your hand has to start to lift away from the floor. Rotating, squared off and rotating the pelvis square it off to the floor. Rotating the pelvis and the torso if you want and square it off. Two more. Rotate and square it off and rotate and square it off. Set your knees down. Little pendulum swings of the hips. Little side to side around one way, around the other. You can make it a circle, but I was kind of making it a half circle. So you're just going into the hips a little bit. And then coming back to the center, bring your legs all the way together, connect through your upper body, bring one hand to your forehead, push the floor away and rotate your upper body, square your upper body back off. Rotate your upper body, square back off. It shouldn't feel that much easier than rotating your pelvis. If it does, then I would say, try not to drop your head, keep your head in line with the spine and stay in the center. So you're not rotating off your axis to rotate. Yeah, lift your head. Some of you are really getting rounded. So don't think of looking underneath your arm. Look along the floor, slightly to the side of your mat. and then set that hand back down, center everything off and rotate the other way. And a couple more, rotate, square it off. Rotate, square it off. And one more time. And then you can set both hands down, sit back towards your heels, stretch back, and then roll onto your back. So sit and then roll down. And from here, we're gonna imprint. We're gonna layer this exercise. So of course, stop at the appropriate place for you today. Bring your legs up to tabletop. Take your hands to the outside of the knees, nod your chin, flex your upper body up. You're gonna extend one leg out away from you. So let's all extend the left leg out away. Hold there, keep your hands touching your right leg and try to straighten your right leg towards the ceiling and bend it and straighten it and bend it. If you can, bring your hands behind your head. If it's too hard, put your non-moving leg down on the floor. Stretch and bend and straighten and bend. If you can, rotate your upper body as the leg straightens, square to center as you bend it. Rotate, center. Like I said, if you, it's too much, put that foot down on the floor. Yeah, there we go. Rotate, center and rotate and center. Two more, rotate and rotate. Come back to the center, keep both legs straight. Like there's a big ball, you're circling around the edges of the ball or the hula hoop. Circle your legs around and around. Exactly. Make the ball a little bigger if you want it to be harder. A little smaller is hard, especially if your legs are down on the diagonal. 
and last two and last one and bring your legs back in lower your upper body down squeeze your legs in and we do the other side so connect your abs lift your legs up to tabletop flex your upper body up extend your right leg out or set it down on the floor and start to straighten and bend. If it doesn't straighten all the way, that's totally fine. You're just going towards straight. If you want this to be a little more work, hands behind the head, stretch and bend and stretch and bend. And then add your upper body rotating towards the leg as it straightens. Rotate towards the leg as it straightens, nice. Four more, four, three, two, good. And last one, keep the legs straight, center your body off, big circles around the ball, around the hula hoop. Circle the legs, circle the legs. And three, two, and last one, bend your legs in, hug your legs in, and give them a little rock from side to side. One last thing here, straighten your legs towards the ceiling as much as you can. Hands to the outside of the knees, nod your chin, flex your upper body up, and go into your scissors. Little pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, and pulse, pulse. Trying to grab closer to the ankles so it's a little bit more lengthening through the upper body. The more you get your hands over your head, the harder this is because you have to hold your upper body up, but do what you need today. And four, three, two, and last one. And then bend your legs back in. Good, roll over onto your stomach. And take your legs parallel. They can have a little space between them, but parallel. Arms are gonna be down along the sides. And you're gonna start by just rolling one shoulder open, lifting your chest a little and turning your thumb up towards the ceiling. And then let that shoulder roll back down and you lower. And the other shoulder rolls open. You turn your thumb up towards the ceiling and you lower down. And then you're gonna start to add the opposite leg reaching out and coming up into a little bit of a hover and shoulder rotates and the opposite leg lifts and everything lowers together. Shoulder rotates and the leg lifts and lower. Rotate and lift and lower. If you want, you could do both arms and legs together, trying to find symmetry through the two sides of the body. So it shouldn't feel like you're getting pulled in one direction. Reaching long. It's more about your feet reaching away from you than it is about them lifting really high. And there's a little feeling of lift underneath the abdomen. So you're trying to not sink into your belly and low back. Do two more of whatever you're doing. Focus on the shoulders opening. Shoulders open. And then you can stay in a hover. If you're doing one side, fine. If you're doing both, great. Hold and little pulse of either one or both arms up, depending on which version you're doing. Little pulse of the arms up, up. The thumb is coming up. And reaching long. Yeah, try to roll your shoulder open. So some of your shoulders still rolled forward. Turn your palm up, um, out, and thumb up to try to help with that. And then roll back down. We have to do one more set. And either the other side or both arms. You may have to take your hands wider away from your body in order to get your shoulder to open. Yeah. And four, three, two and one and lower back down. Good. Roll onto your side. Once you're laying on your side, bring your legs forward 
about 45 degrees. So let's all start this together. So lift the top leg up and then I'll give you some more options to make it a little more exciting. So bend your leg in front of you to 90 degrees. Then straighten your foot forward, bend it back in, leg goes back, reach your leg back and bend your leg in in front of you and stretch your leg forward, bend it back in and then press your leg back and then make it a little bit more continuous and less choppy. So if you want this to be a little bit more work, you could come up onto the forearm. If you wanted it to be even more work, you could do this hovering. Yeah, get your hips off the ground if you're doing the hover. Exactly. Bend in, extend, bend, kick back. Yeah, try not to be collapsed into the arm if you're up on the arm. Lift your torso. Mm -hmm. That's good, Gloria. And forward, bend, reach back. Try to keep the torso relatively still. So as the leg is going back, you're not going forward with the body and vice versa. The body's still. And take a break if your hips are lifted. We have one more thing to do here. And then you're gonna take your leg straight out underneath you. You're making about four to six concentric circles to take the leg forward. And then about four to six to take the leg back. And looping two, three, four, five, six. And... If you're up on your form, bend the bottom leg. I think it changes it a bit and in a good way, circling and circling. Hopefully somebody other than me is feeling this good and then circling around. One more time, we go back and then lower your body down. Bring your legs forward to 90 degrees, take both arms forward. And just do a big rotational stretch. If you want to straighten the top leg out in front of you, you can. Take a couple breaths there. Breathing in, exhaling and sinking into more rotation. And again, breathing in and sink into more rotation. And then use your abdominals to come all the way back to laying on your side. Bring your arm underneath your head. And just a few lift and lower of the leg. Try to press your top leg up and down. If you want to add to this, you could have the leg straight when you do this, but your back is still neutral. So keeping the back neutral is hard. Lots of hamstring length required. About four more. And last one, bring your knees on top of each other and then slide your top leg back as far as you can with your foot touching the floor back there. And then just little bounce of the top leg up, down, up, down, let it be playful. Try to get a big range of motion. So making it not like a lift and a lower, but like there's a ball underneath your knee and it bounces and then your leg continues to bounce, bounce, bounce. And then we're gonna sit up and switch over to the second side. So starting in one long line, your legs can be forward about 45 degrees. Lift the top leg up and you'll bend your knee in front of you, straighten the leg forward bend it in and reach it back, keeping the torso still. Bend in, reach it forward. Obviously you're reaching it as far forward as you have hamstring length straightened. So your leg might not literally be straight forward. It might be on a slight diagonal. Trying to keep the 
upper thigh relatively still as you do that. If you came up onto the forearm or lifted the hips on the other side, then let's do that. So bend in, forward, bend and kick back and bend in, reach the leg forward, bend in, reach back and bend in. If you're up on your forearm, some of you are sinking way down into that shoulder. I'd rather have you lay down than sink into the shoulder if it's not gonna be a good supported position. Yeah, that looks awesome, everyone. And then. Instead of it kind of being a wild kick, there's nothing wrong with that. That actually feels kind of satisfying, but um, try to keep the thigh still as you straighten and as you bend, then keep the thigh still as you straighten behind you and you bend. It's just a little bit more hamstring work that way. One more time. And then we go for our uh, concentric circles, looping forward and looping back. Four to six, whatever makes sense to you. Circling, trying to keep lifted up off of the floor with your waist. If you're laying on your side, it's kind of the lower part of your abdomen. If you're up on your forearm, it's gonna be the whole bottom side, not letting yourself sink. Bend your bottom knee if you're up on your forearm. It'll give you a little more stability, which might make you be able to go a little further. Circling, that's your last one. And then you can lower down, bring your knees in front of you, take your arm forward, lift your top arm up to the ceiling. Rotate your torso open. As you stay there, let yourself sink a little further. Taking a few breaths with each exhale, trying to sink a little further. And then coming all the way back to face the side, arm can come back under the head and lift your top leg and lower your top leg. Or straight leg lift and lower. Pelvis is neutral. You're in your maximum hamstring length. So either way, as your leg goes up, I don't want your hip falling backwards. So try to keep your hips stacked right on top of each other. You might use your top hand on your top side of your pelvis to monitor that. Good, about four more. And last one, and then lower your leg back down. And we're gonna go onto our stomach again. And just open up the front of the thighs, rotate your legs turned out and heels come in towards the midline. Bend one knee like you're trying to kick yourself in the opposite butt cheek, but keep your pelvis from wobbling side to side. So you're bending and trying to kick towards the opposite glute, but your hips stay stable and they're not lifting off the ground in order to do that. Yeah, exactly. And then if you have the mobility, you're welcome to try to reach back and touch that leg as it comes across. You can use the bottom hand to push with. If you want to try to grab your foot, you can do that too. And hold on to it and do a little rock. Couple more seconds of whatever version you're doing. If you're doing the rock, don't just squeeze your heel to your butt you're trying to actually push your leg away from your butt. So like Kai, push your foot into your hand to try to pull you up. 
into like an arc and then that will rock. Something like that, yeah. And then one more moment of whatever you're doing. Yeah, exactly. And then push yourself back into a shell stretch, round your back and push into your hands. I have a fun little grand finale here planned for you. It is a grand finale because we have quite a few minutes left and so it will take a little time. If any of this doesn't feel good, I'll give you alternatives the whole time. So just stick with what makes sense to your body today. So coming into a um, kneeling plank position, it's hard to get your hips literally neutral, but you're trying here to get the hips to open. So you could just come into this plank and hold the plank, try to feel that press of the floor away. and then shift your hips back. You can always come back to this kneeling plank. Um, those of you who have wrist stuff going on, you're gonna put your forearms down. Let's all do this part together for a second. And you're gonna reach one leg out and up behind you. Tap the floor to the side, out to the side, and then lift your leg right back up behind you. You do a few times each side but we're not gonna all do that. We're gonna um, let you choose. So if you'd like to add to this, you're gonna come back onto your hands and come up into a plank. Tap one side, lift your leg up and back as high as you can. Tap one side, lift your leg up and back as high as you can. You're trying to not shift your hips up to do it. Yeah, good. Tap one side lift up and back. One more, tap one side, lift up and back, set your knees down, round your back, do whatever you need. We're gonna do the second leg. And here you go, coming back up into your plank, tap one side, lift your leg up, tap your side, lift up. And tap the side, lift up. You're not trying to go across the midline. It's not a rainbow. It's just to the side, straight up and back. Last one, sit back down. This will help. Uh, I don't care if you wanna make rainbows, you can, but it's um, not gonna help you with the coordination of the next part. Okay, so we're gonna come back to the first side. If you're done on your forearms, you can still switch sides again with us as we switch sides. So come up into your plank, you're gonna tap the side. As you lift the leg up behind you, lift yourself up into a pike, lower yourself down to tap the side, press yourself up into the pike. Tap the side, press yourself up into a pike. Yeah, good. One more, awesome Jocelyn. And then set your knees down, sit back, take a break. Switch sides if you're, uh, no matter who you are, switch sides. Here we go. Second side, tap down, pike up. Tap down, pike up. Four more. Down, pike up, and down. Lift. And when you're done with that, set your knees down and take a breather. The next part, if you're on your forearms, come up onto your hands, you can still keep your knee down. Let's all do this together, just mark it. So on your hands, reach one leg out behind you, round your back and pull the leg in, and then reach the leg back out behind you. Just do a couple on each side, bend in and reach out, switch sides. If you're keeping your knees down like this, it shouldn't feel like a lot of weight in your hands and wrists. It's hard to do this with the forearms down. It's possible, it's just there's not a lot of space. Okay, so if you're doing the plank version, come up into your plank, bend your knee underneath you round, and then kick your leg up into that pike. Come forward in your plank, kick up into the pike. 
forward and kick up nice two more forward kick up and last one forward and kick up and you can lower your knee down to the floor take a second and we switch to the other side everybody cool do whatever is best for you or come up into your plank here and bend your knee under you kick it up and back bend your knee under you kick it up and back nice awesome tom and last two try to come a little lower and a little higher in the pike lower and then higher in the pike and then set yourself back down good awesome and from here we're going to sit down on your butts again and bring your legs forward take your hands to the outside of the knees feet are wide round back a little bit kind of hang into your lower back and then sit back up nice and tall so this is kind of layer one if you want to stick with this you're welcome to you can lift your legs up like you were earlier, or you can even straighten your legs. And we're doing this like teaser spine. So the pelvis is curled under and you're lengthening through your upper body. You're gonna try to round back. And then as you come up, you're lifting your spine and lengthening the upper back. If you're doing it with bent knees, you can roll back and then come up and find your balance and take a moment to lift your eyes up towards where the ceiling and the wall meet. Yeah, awesome. So many of you guys have been coming this whole, uh, you know, eight months or so, and you can tell you all are getting a lot more mobile, a lot stronger. It's very exciting. A little roll. Balance, suspend, lift the spine. And last one, little roll, balance, lift the spine. Awesome. Turn to the side. And again, you can lay on your side if you'd like, but otherwise most of you will be up here. Hand under the shoulder, knee under the hip. Lift the top leg up. And just start by lifting and lowering the top leg should feel pretty light in your hand. Like you can't totally balance without the hand, but most of the weight is in the pelvis. Yeah. And then hold the height of the leg, two kicks forward, sweep your leg back and two kicks forward, sweep back, forward and sweep and forward. Two more. And then bring your knee down and tip over to the second side. Start with figuring out your alignment, lower lifting the top leg, little lift, little lower. And then hold the height of the leg, two kicks forward and sweep back. Try to keep your chest from rolling forward and square your body off to the front. Try to keep the bottom elbow the same amount of straight the whole time. So it's not bending and straightening to help you. It's really tempting to go really far back, but I want your torso still. So only go as far as you really truly have hip flexor length without your torso moving. Two more. And last one. And then bring your leg down and set your hands down. Push yourself to your feet, walk your hands back towards your feet, drop the back of the pelvis to roll yourself up to standing. Good, and then nod your chin, roll down towards the floor. Walk your hands out to your plank, one, two, three, four, you're in your plank. If you need to set your knees down, you can. We're gonna do our push-ups. so you're gonna go down further, Further press up in one count. 
down, two, three, up. Don't think of trying to get your face to touch the floor. Think of trying to keep your shoulder blades connected to your back. And then tuck the toes under, walk your hands back towards your feet, articulate through the spine, walk your hands back, drop the back of the pelvis to roll back up on top of the legs. And again, you're gonna roll down towards the floor, walk your hands out. One, two, you're in your plank, you're in your plank, either stay and hold, set your knees down, or do push-ups where your elbows point straight back. And down, further, further press up. Down, further, further press up. And then you'll sit, shift your hips back, stay down with your knees down now, and step one foot forward. If you need to adjust, just kind of wiggle your foot forward. You need to get your back leg into a lunge position. So your knee can't be straight down or it'll not feel great. So try to make your leg in a lunge, yeah. Bring your hands up to your knee if you can balance. If you can't, keep one hand down there. Rotate your upper body towards the leg, the front leg. Rotate your upper body towards the center and rotate a little and center. If you're up on your leg, you're just kind of rotating, squaring it off and rotating, squaring it off. Yeah, rotate and then put your opposite hand as a front foot down, tuck the back toes under, push yourself up into this lunge position. Do whatever you want with the other hand. Lift your hips a little bit to straighten the front leg some, and bend the front leg. Straighten the front leg a little, bend the front leg. Straighten a little, bend, and straighten a little. This time, set your knee down, crawl that leg back, and try bringing the other foot forward. Start with this lunge position. If you're having trouble getting low enough to touch the floor, you could put yoga block under your hand to be able to help you or stack of books or something so that you feel supported. It shouldn't feel like torture. This should feel kind of good. Square your uh, upper body to the side, then towards the center, to the side, to the center. Or you can be up on your leg. Both feel different and good. And square your body off, tuck your back toes under, lift your hip, stretch that back hip open, straighten the front leg a little bit, bend the front leg a little. Straighten the front leg a little, bend it. Two more, straighten a little. Bend it and straighten a little. Bend it, set your back knee down. Bring your knees towards each other. Tuck your toes under. Press yourself back up to your feet. Drop the back of the pelvis. Roll yourself up to standing. One more thing today, rolling down through your spine. Walk your hands out until your hands are kind of under your shoulders and you can drop your knees down to leg pull front prep. So knees under the hips, hovering the knees. Hover, hover, hover. If you need to set the knees down at any point you can. Good, and lengthen through the spine, set your knees down for a second. We're gonna add leg circles to this if you would like. You're gonna try to circle your leg and actually straighten it out behind you. So you circle and straighten. Either do it with the knee down or knees hovering. Here we go, four in each direction. Circle the leg, one, two, three, stay as low as possible, four, reverse. Four, three, two, and one. Set the legs down and the second side, hover up, circle around, two, three, four, reverse, four, three, stay as low as you can, and then set the knees down, sit back towards your heels, breathe for a second, and then you can roll up to sitting, 
and you're all done. Good job. Happy Saturday.